Tesla recently introduced a new, lithium iron phosphate battery option for the entry-level Tesla Model 3, standard range plus in the US, with cells supplied by CATL from China. As demand for the Tesla Model 3, standard range plus is high, and the estimated delivery time for new orders extended to January 2022. The company contacted some of the reservation holders and proposed them the LFP option that might be ready as early as September. This new variant of the standard range plus will have slightly less range and has a lithium iron phosphate battery pack instead of the nickel cobalt aluminum battery pack. So what if you are a Model 3 standard range plus reservation holder or if you are looking to purchase a new standard range plus Model 3 in North America? Should you go for the lithium iron phosphate battery pack to get your car faster or should you wait? So today we will clear all these questions by getting into all the details about this new variant. So let's get started. A number of Tesla Model 3 standard range plus reservation holders are being offered this new variant with the lithium iron phosphate battery pack that has an EPA estimated range of 253 miles. This is 10 miles less than the 263 mile range for the original US version. We'll discuss about the differences and talk about which battery pack might be better for you in just some time. However, we want to mention that this Model 3 is still going to be manufactured in the United States. We don't think that they're going to be exporting made in China Model 3 to the United States. Although the standard range version of the Model 3 in China does have a lithium iron phosphate battery pack and appears most likely that they're just exporting the batteries from CATL and putting those packs in the made in Fremont or made in US Model 3s. Now when it comes to the differences on a surface level, this battery choice looks like a downgrade because of the loss of around 10 miles of range. Also when you look at the weight difference between the existing standard range plus and the version with the LFP battery, there's around a 260 pound weight difference between the two. The Model 3 with the lithium iron phosphate battery pack weighs about 260 pounds more than the standard range plus with the NCA chemistry due to the fact that lithium iron phosphate battery cells are less energy dense than nickel cobalt aluminium cells. However, despite the weight difference, there are some good benefits and good reasons to have a lithium iron phosphate battery pack and a mid-range or lower range vehicle, like the standard range plus Model 3. One of the first big reasons of a lithium iron phosphate battery pack comes down to safety. While Tesla has had a very good track record for battery safety and their current NCA battery packs are much less likely to catch fire than an internal combustion engine. The general consensus is that lithium iron phosphate battery packs are safer than NCA battery packs, so there is definite a safety advantage. The second benefit comes down to the charging habits of the standard range plus with the lithium iron phosphate battery and it actually gives you more usable range. As Elon Musk mentioned in his tweet, lithium iron phosphate batteries like to be charged to 100%. From our research about this, we came to know that you actually need to charge them to 100% quite often, at least once a week, in order to get an accurate percentage of battery remaining, otherwise if you don't charge them to 100% regularly, the system will not accurately gauge how much battery percentage you have left. Also, regularly charging a lithium iron phosphate battery pack can be done safely all the way to 100% without degrading the battery. In contrast, nickel cobalt aluminum battery cells can suffer increased battery degradation when you repeatedly charge them to 100%. It's actually only recommended that you charge them up to around 80 or 90% on a regular basis, and only to 100% if you're going to go on a long trip. When it comes to the actual usable range, if you charge your Model 3, Standard Range Plus, the normal version with 263 miles of range to 90%, that means you actually have a usable range of around 237 miles. However, the Model 3, 
Standard Range Plus, the lithium iron phosphate battery pack, charged all the way to a 100%, will net you the total of around 253 miles. So, that is actually more usable range than charging standard range plus, the normal variant, to 90%. So, in actual real-world use, the lithium iron phosphate battery pack appears to have a range advantage. Another huge advantage of a lithium iron phosphate battery pack is potentially a longer life or more charging cycles. According to a 2019 tweet from Elon Musk, the 2170 battery cells with the NCA chemistry in the existing Model 3s made at Fremont are expected to last around 1500 cycles, which translates out to around 300,000 to 500,000 miles of use. And while 300,000 to 500,000 miles on a single battery pack is totally sufficient in most cases, that lithium iron phosphate battery packs have the potential to be able to double that life. In some of the packs that CATL has developed for instance, have the potential to last over a million miles. It also appears like the new standard range plus with the lithium iron phosphate battery pack might actually charge faster than the standard range plus with a nickel cobalt aluminum battery pack. Now the initial Model 3s with the lithium iron phosphate battery pack did charge slower than the NCA versions of the Model 3. However, earlier this year, with a software update, Tesla was able to fix many of these issues, and now the Model 3, standard range plus, with the lithium iron phosphate battery pack, seems to be outperforming the nickel cobalt aluminum version. Also it's worth noting that the amount of internal resistance in a battery relates directly to the heat generation during charging and discharging. So the lower internal resistance of the lithium iron phosphate batteries allow for higher rates of charging power without overheating the lithium iron phosphate battery pack. So with the right battery management system, they should be able to sustain a higher rate of power longer into the charged curve that's leading to a faster charge time. So those were some of the benefits of the LFP battery pack, but there are a few downsides as well. The first potential issue with a lithium iron phosphate battery pack comes down to cold weather performance. In general, the lithium iron phosphate chemistry does seem to be a little more susceptible to cold weather issues. In fact, the first Model 3s with the lithium iron phosphate battery packs delivered in China and Europe did suffer from some cold weather performance issues, like slow charging rates. However, due to the recent software updates that Tesla was able to push out, it appears like this cold weather charging and performance issues are most likely fixed. There is also a small issue that we would like to mention with the lithium iron phosphate battery pack that is something to consider. This comes down to the fact that because of a lower voltage fluctuation between a charged battery and the almost empty battery, it's a lot harder for the car software to actually calculate how much percentage of battery is left with the LFP battery pack. A fully charged lithium-ion battery has a higher operating voltage than a nearly depleted battery. However, with the lithium-iron phosphate batteries, the difference between a fully charged battery and a nearly depleted battery is much lower compared to the nickel-cobalt-aluminum battery fully charged and nearly depleted. An electric vehicle software uses this voltage fluctuation to help it determine how much charge is remaining in the battery. So, this lower amount of fluctuation with the LFP battery cells makes these calculations more difficult. This is one of the big reasons why it's necessary to charge your lithium iron phosphate battery to 100% regularly because it helps keep the calculations accurate for the battery. So if you don't charge the vehicle regularly to 100%, you may not have accurate range estimates in your vehicles. So with all that being said, the question remains, should you opt for the lithium iron phosphate battery pack, or should you wait for the regular nickel cobalt aluminum pack? With all that we discussed in the video, we think it's fine with either of them, but we would prefer a little bit more for the lithium iron phosphate battery pack. The best thing we think is, you get to charge it to a 100%, which ultimately gives you more range than the regular one. It would prove more beneficial for those 
who frequently use their vehicle for long trips. So that's all we think about this new battery pack, but what do you think about it? Share your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.